and against the same opponents, Rosario throws approximately the same number of punches, lands more of them. Boy, if they both throw that many punches, we'll see a lot of action tonight. And here are his jabs. He throws fewer jabs, but he's more efficient when he does throw it. And the WBC rules, as always, 10-point must system. Three judges will score the fight. There is no standing in. Cop fighter can only be saved by the bell in the last round. The ring doctor, unlike in most cases, can stop the fight. want to point out one other thing. Harold Letterman, who has been our in-house judge, if you will, here for HBO, will not be with us tonight. Just about an hour ago, the commissioner of boxing in the state of New York, Jose Torres, said, no, you worked to fight, Harold, and so as a result of that, he worked the Julio Cesar Chavez championship fight a little bit earlier tonight. As a result of that, Torres said, no, you cannot work for HBO. We are not very pleased about that decision, but nevertheless, that's what we have to live with tonight, so we will not have Harold Letterman. Right now, let's go to the ring announcer, Frank Shane, for the pre-fight introductions. the 13th, this is Resurrection Day. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world-famous Madison Square Garden, the showplace of the nation. Tonight, Don King Productions Incorporated, Don King, the dynamic premier promoter of all promoters in association with Madison Square Garden, take great pleasure in presenting the World Boxing Council World Lightweight Championship fight scheduled for 12 rounds between the challenger Edwin El Chapo Rosario and the WBC champion Hector Macho Camacho. This WBC Championship fight is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, Jose Suleiman, President, and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission, the former light heavyweight champion of the world, and the chairman, Jose Chegui Torres, and the commissioners, Rose Stratman and Jimmy Dupree. The deputy commissioners, Petey Della, Jack Graham, Marvin Cohn. The WBC judges, Louis Rivera from New York City, Tony Castellano from New York City, and from Detroit, Michigan, Dr. Stuart Kirschenbaum. The timekeeper is Cecilio Pedraja, counting for the knockdowns at the bell, referee Johnny Lobianco, the doctors in attendance at ringside, Dr. Frank S. Folk, chief medical physician, Dr. Billy Lathan, and Dr. Barry Jork. The for the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. In this corner, he's wearing black trunks trimmed with white. He weighed in at 134 pounds. His home is Santurce, Puerto Rico. He is a former WBC Lightweight Champion. He is the number one contender. His career record, he won 23 bouts. He lost only one and registered 19 exciting KOs. Here is a very capable challenger, Edwin El Chapo Rosario. And his, and his very worthy adversary, he's wearing red, white, and blue trunks. He weighed in at 135 pounds. He's from New York City. He was the 78, 79, 80 Golden Glove champion. He won the, Nash, the North American Boxing Federation Championship. He was the WBC Junior Lightweight Champion. He's a current World Boxing Council Lightweight Champion. He's undefeated in 28 professional fights, exploding. 15 stunning knockouts along the way. Here is the very worthy champion, Hector Macho Camacho. Well done. Referee Arthur McCarthy will deliver the instruction to the boxer. One second, chief second. Chief second only, one second in the corner. 
One second only. No, one second only. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Ed and Hector. This contest is the lightweight championship of the world. It will be, uh, you will listen to all the commands. I will enforce all the rules and you must obey the rules. Shake hands now and come out boxing at the bell. Shake hands. So Arthur McCanty, the referee with the instructor of Hector Camacho, although Edward Rosario did receive a pretty good round of applause. You can look for Rosario to try to put pressure on Camacho from the bell in the hopes of using him up and slowing him down for the second half of the fight. There was some thought in Rosario's camp that because of all the training, chopping wood, that sort of thing, upper bodybuilding that Camacho did, that he may slow down in the later rounds. No, I disagree with that. I think the fact that he's only stronger, he's not heavier, so his mobility should remain the same. I have never seen Camacho slow down in the later rounds. You saw Rosario kind of point to his ear, and perhaps he thought that Camacho butted him. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. Both fighters came at the same time with the heads, and uh, it was an accidental head, but unfortunately there was no damage. Here Camacho is on his bicycle, using his jab, and pretty much utilizing the ring. With uh, Rosario, Rosario trying to cut the ring off, because Ro Rosario is better inside. He's a better inside fighter. He's a very good counter puncher too. What he's going to have to do, Barry, is slow the movement down of Camacho. Good body shot by Camacho. Both guys respect each other's punching power. Left hook by Camacho. The way Camacho fought Jose Luis Ramirez to win the title was get in, punch, punch, get out. Well, the key to beat uh, Rosario is, is beat him to the punch and stand outside. Stand mobile. You can't stand and exchange punch for punch. These guys are really going at it. So uh, this first round, anything can happen, Barry. They both are still a little tight. That's why you see both fighters uh, somewhat reluctant to throw a punch. It has been said that Rosario has had problems with what his camp called tricky fighters. Watch for the left hook of Rosario because of the way he's positioned himself, he's trying to get that hook in. Good left hand by Camacho. He caught Rosario off balance. Now, one thing about Rosario, he has experience. So normally when Camacho throws his punches, Rosario cover up and try to spin his opponent. There is some talk that Rosario may have a suspect chin. Right, what's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. We want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. We're in 1986 with Jose or Hector Macho Camacho and Edwin El Chapo Rosario. The fight took place in 1986, Friday the 13th, New York's Madison Square Garden. I was in the second row of this fight. And it was the main event card to Mike Tyson and Reggie Gross. Our second round knockout. You also had Julio Cesar Chavez. He was scheduled to be on this card. But he didn't make the card for personal reasons, so he wound up being on the card of Tim Witherspoon and Bone Crusher Smith in New York's Madison Square Garden. He fought one of. Uh, As the child last hands darting in, a tentative right jab followed by a very good left hand. There it is once again. Amazingly quick reflexes. Chavez fought Juan Laporte. That was a very good fight. So let's take a look at this fight between Hector Macho Camacho and Edwin El Chapo Rosario. Camacho was to your right, and Camacho is a champion. He's the southpaw. Edwin El Chapo Rosario is now to your right. He was a former WBC champion. He is now number one contender. Not able to heed that advice. Mario has, he starts off very slow. And here, with, because of Camacho's uh, uh, great speed, 
He can't afford to stay on the outside too long. Needs to get inside. When we talked to him, he said he was not in great shape for the Ramirez fight. He figured he had to go out and knock him out because he didn't think he could go the distance, and he himself got knocked out. He said he wasn't in top condition for the Howard Davis fight. And he's won a very narrow decision in that fight. Rosares has a few problems with his wrist, and uh, he says as well now. He's given enough rest. Another right hand by Rosario. And again, it caught Camacho backing up. Trying to cut the ring off, Rosario. It's difficult sometimes in trying to slow down a mobile southpaw because it's tough to get inside. Did a lot of hooks to the body, to the midsection of the southpaw. Works very well. Darts in, sticks him, steps out. Also, I feel that Camacho is a little too elusive up, upstairs, so Rosario needs to go to the body to slow down that movement. Counter punching right hand by Camacho, behind the right hand by Rosario. Rosario got Camacho in the corner for a second, but Camacho got away. And another good left hand, and it stunned Rosario. Camacho at times dropped that right hand, and that's why I'm looking forward to a hook from Rosario. Rosario has a very solid, very uh, powerful left hook. It's the left hook he's been able to put a lot of opponents down. And a five punch combination. Four jabs and then a left hand. Stop holding, stop holding. And Arthur Mercanti warning Hector Camacho to stop holding. That's something that has gone on throughout the career. Camacho. Earlier tonight, another fight on this card. Mike Tyson continuing his rampage through the heavyweight division, beating Reggie Gross in one round with a big left hand. And we should point out that contractually, HBO is not allowed to show so much as a highlight of that fight. <laughs> You have, you have to use both hands. If he comes running, hit him in the, on the chest. I'm out of distance. No, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll be there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I felt during that last round that Rosario was getting a little closer in timing Camacho. If he can keep Camacho moving for the next three or four rounds, we will have to see whether Camacho can continue this movement over the remaining rounds. He has been extremely up-tempo through the first two. That was a good shot by Rosario. But again, it was not going to be one punch to uh, slow a guy like Camacho down. Uh, come on, I mean, uh, Rosario throws his right hand. He needs to follow up with that good, clean left hook. Because you notice, as Rosario throws his right hand, Camacho is steady moving to his right. So he comes in, in front of a good left hook. There's the left hook. Very good exchange. And a good right hand, too. And that backs Camacho away for the moment. That's what I was talking about, Barry. He has to come back. That right hand gets in, hits him on the chest. So a good left hook will catch him. Reason why Camacho is moving is because of the presence and the power of Rosario. Camacho respects his presence and his power. He doesn't want to get caught with a clean punch. Rosario needs the jab coming in. And he's to punch with both hands when he gets Camacho close to the ropes. Camacho now is trying to go against the ropes. And you see what happens against the ropes. That's to Rosario's advantage. Camacho, the counter 
one punch that time. Rosario needs to keep Camacho going towards his right, which is Rosario's left. Do not let him go to your right. He needs to cut him off as Camacho is going towards Camacho's right. Rosario needs to make Camacho go towards his left. Keep the jab and back him to the ropes. Because Camacho is moving anyway. Camacho will go to the ropes every time because he is not stopping Rosario. He's flicking out his jab, but he is not moving Rosario because he's he's moving the opposite way. There's no power in the jab, it's just a clean snap. Rosario needs to come in hard with a jab and put Camacho on the ropes. Do not allow him to take him to his right. You can see that if you pay attention. The trainer, Jimmy Mentoya, is an outstanding trainer. Rosario would understand as a committed fisherman, he's starting to get a few bites. Now, Rosario needs not to allow Camacho to do this. He needs to consistently push him back with the jab, remind him of why he's moving because of the punching power of Rosario. Rosario is a two-fisted puncher. He should not have any problems with Camacho when Camacho is on the ropes. He just has to get him there. The punch for Rosario is the left hook. Rosario went to the body that time. We need to see more body shots thrown by Rosario. See, Camacho is just able to get in and get out so quickly. It's difficult to uh, for you to land get the balance in there and land some good shots. You have to slow down his mobility, and the best way to do this is go to the body. Neither man is marked. This is the fourth round, halfway through. Rosario coming off his biggest round of the fight. One thing about it, Barry, um, Rosario is making Camacho work. He's really trying to push him to the limit. Yeah, there's no question about it. We've seen Camacho a few times. This is as tested as we've ever seen him. Got a left hand in there. The left hand fell a little short. Camacho is vulnerable to the left hook of Rosario. Rosario has to put pressure on him as he gets close to the ropes. He needs to nail him with a left hook. And he can do that. Because Camacho is now dropping his left, his right jab. This is when Rosario needs to put the pressure on. Rosario's scoring pretty consistently with 
challenger. Blood, I'm the champion. Not bad. Close your eyes. Lean back. Hold his son's heart. Okay, jump. Stay away from his right hand all the time. He's doing a good job. He's caught over here too, okay? Close your eyes. He's not bad. Okay? Come over here. Keep him taking away from his way. We have to keep fighting with both hands. Two hands. Work with him. Work, working with two hands. Out, out. The way this fight is The HBO translator name is Tito Alba. RIP to him. Knew him very well. Serious, it's not very bad. Time will tell. Well, we have a different Rosario now. That was a good left hand by Camacho, and Rosario holds on. This is when Rosario needs to punch blow for blow with Camacho. Stand right there on your ground and punch right back with him. Camacho needs not to fight with Rosario, he needs to continue to jab and move around. Exactly what Larry Merchant just said he should do or has to do. This is where experience comes in. You can see Camacho rubbing the eye, he's never been cut, Ray. And, uh, Camacho's in unfamiliar territory at this point. He's caught with a left hook. This is what he's been vulnerable for all night long. Now Rosario needs to move in, take his time, get three punches, and continue to move. Don't try and unload on Camacho. Three solid punches and continue to move. Oh, beautiful right hand. Now he needs to come back with a left hook to the body and left hook to the head. Take your time, jab, throw a straight right hand and a left hook to the body. And come up with the head. Three punch combination. Camacho needs to defend himself at this point. Don't jab, just move and tie him up. Camacho does not have peripheral vision. He cannot afford to fight back at this point. He has to move. And he's a tie his man up. He will get caught again if he doesn't do that. Still a world of time to go. Rosario is not putting the pressure on like he should. This reminds me of when Bad Benny Drisco. Had Carlos Monzon hurt and he didn't take advantage of it. This is where the pressure needs to come in. He doesn't want to get on where he put Camacho in some serious trouble. Camacho danced his way. Now he needs to left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and come with a straight right hand. And Camacho will feel the same experience all over again. There's no reason Camacho needs to take his time, but Rosario needs to cut the ring off, pin him in a corner, and get him out of here. He still has him hurt. You blame Rosario for what's going on right now. Shout out to Hector Camacho. He survived that round. Absolutely. He's getting tired. Get away with his right hand, man. Box. Okay, he's getting damn tired now, okay? I want you to box. Move. Beautiful left hook. Came after a straight right hand. That's what Camacho's been vulnerable to the entire night. No. Oh, nice right hand. Rosario needs to take his time. Jab, left hook to the body, come back with a straight right hand to the head, and then follow with a left hook to the head. Round number six. Long way to go. You notice the way that Rosario is 
Camacho has a lot of heart and he is a champion. You have to give him credit for that. Camacho on his bicycle now. Now you see a different Camacho because he uh, respects the punch power of Rosario. In the last round, he came out and tried to brawl, and obviously that was not the ticket. Well, Camacho proved one thing if he, pulled, if he had to prove anything, he has a good chin. A lot of movement from Camacho. It looks a little fresher uh, this sixth round. He's doing a great deal of movement. Camacho's a New York fighter. All New York fighters have heart and they have chins. That's always been the case. Camacho has the double up on the jab and he's to consistently move. No left hand, it's just jab. And that's where Rosario has to cut the ring off. Make him go to his right. Rosario is not wasting any energy. Just steady clock his way in. Hey, hey, hey. Nice jabs by Camacho. Camacho was a beautiful technician. The only difference in Camacho's style, he doesn't follow up when he gets a man in a position where he can get him hurt. And that's what's happening tonight. Rosario is just following Camacho around the ring. That is not how you beat Camacho. It's not going to work. You have to attack Camacho. Now, if Camacho had Rosario hurt the way Rosario had Camacho hurt, Camacho would be out of, would knock out Rosario. Rosario would be out of there because Camacho understands how to take his man out. This is the problem that Rosario is having. All Rosario is doing is following Camacho around the way. Camacho got out of that round. That time, Camacho came back, reestablished himself by dominating it with his quickness. About the low blows, there was a right that was low and the left that fell.